Hi friends, a very good evening to all of you. This is the question that I have been getting as a doubt with from many of you. It was asked in an exam. Look, this is giving you a set of question in which there is a carrier father, a carrier mother, and giving you three children, in which one of the child is diseased, marrying a carrier female. and again one of the child is diseased now i will explain the whole scenario to you with a simpler version let's come in here the same pedigree without showing you any carrier state so what i'll do is i'll just mark first of the generation generation 1 generation 2 and the generation 3 now what you look here look here at the generation 2 and generation 3 When you look at the generation two and generation three, what you are seeing is because the child is diseased here and the father is also diseased, the whole thing looks initially to be dominant. But when you look at generation two and generation one here, look at generation one here, both the parents are normal, which obviously is not very correlatory with the dominant condition. So it looks to be recessive. So what I can say is this looks to be recessive, and this looks to be dominant. But for obvious reason, it is not possible because the same family cannot have a recessive and a dominant both type of inheritance pattern. So something we are missing here, and for that pattern, for this reason, the question is giving you some of the more information here, like it has given you carrier state. Now, when you look at this carrier state, look what it is trying to show you is, especially this large generation here, one of the parents is diseased. other parent is carrier please understand a carrier cannot ex- cannot be in a dominant condition there is nothing called as carrier in dominant so you have ruled out dominant condition here straight away now comes a question it is, should be recessive yes it can be recessive but let's understand when will this whole scenario occur in a dominant condition okay i i am again telling you it's not dominant but still i'll explain to you when can this occur in a dominant condition So let's consider that there is a normal allele, capital A, and small allele is mutated allele. So as you see in this scenario, this one is a diseased. So let this be diseased, and this is normal. So this is a carrier. So what I'm trying to say is, look, the carrier cannot be there in a dominant condition, so it will be normal only. So the possible scenario of the children all will be. if it's a organ dominant condition one of the parent is diseased one of the parent is normal so what you see in the children is 50% of the children is diseased and 50% of the children are normal this would have been if it is dominant but i told you it is not a dominant condition because there is nothing called as carrier state in a dominant condition so when would this be possible in a recessive condition one scenario is this one one of the parent is diseased small g small g so i have taken capital g as a normal allele as you remember from my classes normal allele and the small g i will take as mutated allele mutated allele so one of the parent become diseased one of the parent is normal got the point but the problem here is in this scenario all the children will be normal because all of them will be small g capital g small g capital g small g capital g small g capital g so all of them will be normal so therefore this is not a valid scenario in this present situation because in the present situation one of the child should be diseased therefore i am taking a second scenario which is possible in recessive condition which is this one in this condition as you see one of the child is diseased one of the parent is a carrier as given in the question so now if you separate the alleles small g small g small g and capital g what is happening here is look 50% of the children are diseased and 50% are normal this scenario this scenario whole scenario in one watch of one of the parent is diseased and one of the parent is carrier and showing you 50% diseased 
children it quite looks like a dominant condition isn't it it looks like a dominant it's not a dominant condition obviously it looks like a dominant condition and therefore this type of recessive condition which is looking like a dominant condition would be called as pseudo dominance to explain the whole scenario to explain the whole scenario i read this book emery elements of medical genetics which tells us that pseudo dominance is a condition in which look one of the parent is carrier one of the parent is diseased giving rise to one of the children who is diseased and other children which is a carrier so because 50% of the children are getting diseased is looking like a dominant condition but not actually a dominant condition which makes it pseudo dominance pseudo dominance therefore this book defines pseudo dominance as it defines pseudo dominance as if an individual who is homozygous for autosomal recessive disorder and they have a partner of with carrier partner then 50% of the children are affected this whole scenario is called as pseudo dominance the whole scenario is called as pseudo dominance what the point so it looks like a dominant condition but obviously it is not a dominant condition hence it is being called as pseudo dominance so i would tell you that in that question the best answer would be pseudo dominance but if not in the option the second option would have been pseudo dominant the autosomal recessive but this question giving you so many good options with pseudo dominance i would definitely choose a pseudo dominance over a autosomal recessive condition so thanks friends a very good night to all of you you are free to ask me any questions you have thanks and best wishes